Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel in part 8 of my Gambler car build. Today we're actually going to get some paint on the car. I apologize, I did get ahead of you and uh, I got part of the car taped off already. Uh, so you're going to see me finish taping it off and uh, we're going to get some paint on it. And stick around to the end because I'll have a full walk around for you. So uh, I'm going to get to it. All right, everybody, it's all taped off, ready to go. Um, it took me longer than I thought it was going to. So the sanding is gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I've had enough, but it's all ready to go. Everything that's showing now is gonna be black. As you can see in the back it follows this contour right here comes to a point just like it does in the front that'll be black the bottom part will be silver trunk that'll be silver roof will be silver everything else in the middle will be black i'm calling it a night we'll see you in the morning all right guys it's the next day not exactly morning uh it's about one o'clock um but it's time to get back going on this. I'm going to set you up on the shelf and I'm going to get sanding away. And uh, then it'll be time to start throwing paint on it. I'll uh, get back to you guys in a bit. Okay, there it is. It's all sanded down, all wiped down. I'm gonna let the um, let the dust settle in here for a little bit. 
uh, get my paint mixed up and uh, close the door, warm it up in here and uh, wipe it down one more time and then, uh, and then I'll spray it. The paint I'm using isn't anything special. Um, it's some paint that I had left over from when I built a trailer, shoot, probably 15 years ago. Uh, it's just it's just a single stage paint. I, I thin it with crappy um, gun wash thinner. All right guys, so I've got 32 ounces of paint in there and it's really thick, really thick. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna thin it down. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Try that. All right, we're going to give her a try. We're just put just a little in. We're going to, I got tape or paper over there. And uh, we're going to try her out. Here it goes. Uh, believe it or not, I didn't know how to adjust the gun, like I said. Um, so my second coat was sprayed out kind of dry. So went to Google and uh, kind of got a, a quick lesson on how to adjust the spray gun. And um, I readjusted it and uh, put another third, a third coat on and uh, it, turned out, it turned out really good. Um, so I'll show you guys now. All right. Look at that. Not bad for a free paint job. It looks a little dry up there. 
but it's pretty good. Going into the lights, probably not a good shot. Oh, can't wait to pull the paper off this. All right, guys, that has been the most satisfying thing I've done on this car to date. Um, I'm going to set you down and pull all this paper off. See, uh, see what it looks like then. Sorry about the sunlight. We're on the other side. Man, I like the way the back of that turned out. Kind of looks like a cop car. Well, that's a big dent. Woo. I do like the way the front and the hood turned out too. Still not too sure about those fangs. Oh, Bruce got one thing. There. Well. There it is, the paint job's done. Oh, there's one run. So, uh, not going to SEMA, but it'll definitely work for what we're using it for. All right, so there it is, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I really like it. Um, for an absolutely zero dollar paint job, Everything I had was left over. Like I said, that tape was probably almost as old as the paint. Um, it didn't come off very well. Uh, but it's all done. So next time, um, let me know if you guys want to see me build two bumpers for it or a luggage rack next. Because uh, those are both on the list to be done. So let me know in the comments what I should do next. So with that, remember... If you're going to be good at breaking stuff, you better be good at fixing stuff. One more thing down, we're getting close.